Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. This is actually the first vlog I'm recording for my website www.connectbacktocenter.com. If you haven't checked it out, feel free to do so. You can learn more about my services and read my other blog posts. Now apparently I'm doing vlogs, so you can check those out on there as well. Today's topic is how to be attuned with other people. It sounds simple, but our brains make it a little more complicated than it needs to be. So the first thing to be aware of when you're trying to connect that, oh, so attuned means to be aware of. So the first thing that you want to be aware of <laughs> when you're trying to be aware of other people is how you're feeling yourself. Like what energy are you bringing to the conversation? By being aware of what you're bringing to the conversation, I mean, how is your energy? Are you feeling anxious or nervous, calm or relaxed? Depending on how you're feeling, that is going to create the atmosphere or environment for the other person to open up or close up. So definitely be mindful of how you're feeling when you're going into a conversation with somebody. After you check in with your own energy, you can then create a safe, comfortable place for other people to open up to you. People will actually tell you who they are. You just have to have the ears to listen. The saying that you hear what you want to hear is actually truer than you know. Due to self-fulfilling prophecy, we tend to take in information that reaffirms a predetermined belief that we have, and we reject information that goes against any predetermined beliefs that we have. So this is actually doing a huge disservice to ourselves and to other people. We don't really truly get to hear how they're feeling or who they are. We have our own beliefs that we project onto them and then we only take in information that, that proves those beliefs right. This is definitely something to be aware of when you're trying to connect with other people. Asking the right questions to further get to know someone and to really be attuned with them is another important aspect in becoming aware of who they really are. So questions about their life, what their life purpose is, maybe what some of their first memories were, their likes, dislikes, where they want to go um, in their future, what their biggest wildest dreams are and even questions about their feelings and emotions will get you give you good information as to who they are are they usually bright and sunny and energetic or are they kind of low vibe like not feeling great all the time if you pay attention to this you'll notice that there may be a pattern in how they feel on a daily basis once they answer these questions you can ask follow-up questions to get them to go even deeper Follow-up questions should not have the word why in it. This puts people on the defense. If you ask them why they feel a way or why they did something, it automatically assumes that you're making a judgment. So instead of asking why questions, you can say what or how, like what made you feel that way today? Or you can simply say, please tell me more about that. Keep in mind that people may not want to go deeper, and that's okay, they're just not ready to open up yet. This is about connecting, not disconnecting. So really be mindful and respectful of other people's boundaries. Another thing you can notice is when they're talking to you, when they're answering these questions, pay attention to their body language. Nonverbal communication is 93% of communication. So only 7% of what we actually say is what we're communicating. 55% of it is body language and 38% is tone of voice. So some body language to pay attention to is whether or not they're sitting up straight or standing up straight or if they're slouching. You can notice the position of their feet depending on where their feet is pointed will tell you the direction that they really want to go in. You can also pay attention to their tone of voice. If they have fast, rapid, pressured speech, they may be feeling anxious or nervous. If their speech is slowed down, then that will tell you that they're more relaxed. 
so definitely pay attention to those cues because they are speaking loud to you. Another way to be able to read somebody and be attuned with them is to sit in some silence and stillness. So you can invite them to meditate with you or just sit quietly in silence and communicate that way. It will tell you a lot more than you'll know through their words. Words allow us to conceal or hide uh, our feeling. Sitting in silence and stillness kind of wipes the slate clean and you can just feel what it is to be around that person. So another tip for body language is to pay attention to eye contact. Very important. Is their eye contact avoidant, sporadic, intermittent, steady, or non-existent? There's a common belief that when people don't make eye contact that that means that they're lying. And although that's true in some cases, actually really good liars give really good eye contact. So be mindful of that. And just because somebody is not looking at you doesn't mean that they're lying about what they're saying. It just could mean that they're, maybe they're a little anxious or maybe in their past they got into trouble for making eye contact. So really getting to know somebody is getting to know their story, asking those questions again that go way back and go deep. So don't be afraid to ask questions. So again, just to sum it up, the first thing is to be aware of what you're bringing to the conversation, what your predetermined beliefs are, what your energy is, and if you're able to drop your ego and create a comfortable environment for them. Be aware of whether or not you're asking judgmental or non-judgmental questions, and don't be afraid to ask those questions to make them go deeper. Pay attention to body language, tone of voice, eye contact, how they're standing or sitting and lastly I want you to recognize that however you feel about somebody is a good reflection of how you feel about yourself so if you like things or qualities in somebody then most likely you like those qualities in yourself or you want to strengthen them or create them and if you don't like something about somebody then it may be something that you don't like about yourself or about maybe family members or loved ones. So definitely always be mindful of what you're projecting onto them and how you feel about them, again, is like a big reflection of you. Okay, it's that time to wrap up my first vlog. Thanks again for checking it out. Bye for now. Namaste.